Today we're gonna to make an app in less than 15 minutes. We're gonna use V0, Claude, and Cursor AI to make this happen. And we're gonna do this unedited from start to finish. I will also upload this project to my GitHub. All right, we're gonna get started in three, two, one, and go. So let's start with on v0.dev, by the way, we're gonna create the front end first. Let's create a journaling app with all the basic features needed. Add, add lots of things for the for each journal entry to input. We'll see what we'll see what this brings up. If you were to give the exact same prompt that I'm giving, you're going to get something a little different, and that's what's kind of great about this. I've done this lots of times, and I sometimes get something that works right away, and something just like this that doesn't. Um, I think maybe it's might be creating more components. I'm not 100 percent sure. But we'll see. If either way, <laughs> we are well. We already got an error. That's that's crazy. Um, as soon as I'm like recording, but that's okay. We're gonna ask it to fix it, and then hopefully it fixes it for us. Now this is you know probably the most basic that we can get at this point. Uh, let's go ahead to use this app. You typically wrap it on lip. Blah blah blah. So either way, yeah. This is uh to open yeah let's have it fix this okay so all you do is click the fix with the vo and their v0 and then just send that and then hopefully that works and what it looks like it did this time was and you know yours can be different but sometimes you get a single file or you get multiple files so it looks like i'm going to get multiple files i got entry form entry list <clears throat> has like types um and then it has a separate page but either way, it looks like it's fixing it um, because so far I don't see, so far I don't see any errors anyways. I think by this time we already had one. Hopefully um, this is going to work now. So it revised it. Uh, however, I don't see, oh, let me come down here. No, that's entry list of the app. Okay, but there's nothing here. The entry form. So this is like the entry form testing. The so energy level is a slider. Okay, work and then add the entry. However, cannot read properties. So this one. So it looks like this one also has. So let's have it fix this too. I swear this happens every time I am about to record, but that's okay. Like this, it's fine. Like this, these things happen. So hopefully this is the last time we get the basic functionality working. So if I, we got we got something, um, and then we still need it to you know we need to have the entry forms on this main page. Hopefully it does that. Uh, journal. Let's update the journal app components. Okay. Okay. So I think the journal app is the main file. Um, and then it had the entry list and entry forms, and then, okay, these changes could resolve. All right, well, let's test. Let's test this out. Uh, so hope, hope the, the rest of this is easier. Please, I will be happy and have a higher energy level. This is for YouTube. And then I am at home. So let's add this entry. Cool. Um, and it's it just showing the basic entries here. And then we, we, I assume we could just add more. Well, what? Well, also, I only have two messages left. That's fine. Uh, I use it a lot. I still have the free version. But let's add, we need to add, have the rest of the CRUD operation. So we can create and read, but we can't update or delete. We need update and delete for the entries. And also, can you add a nice analytics? Uh, I'm not worried about analytics. Um, can you make this full page? And if there is any other nice touch to the app you can think of. So I'll kind of leave it up to the AI model to decide for me. Uh, but after this, what we still need to do is we need to port this over the cursor so that we can run it, run like a server locally um, to have our own journal app. We don't, you're not going to run this 
um, every time, you know, in vzier.dev whenever you want to use it. Um, it looks like it's also using local storage, which is fine. Uh, for now, whenever we give it, get it to cursor and we get it running, we will be done. And, you know, hopefully that happens soon. Hopefully this works. That is the first time, of course, when I'm recording that I get uh, three errors like that in a row right off the bat. Um, and it didn't help that I didn't understand the one, why it wasn't working the second time because uh, one of the other components weren't working. But I do like that it is separating everything out into components. And I kind of like uh, like how this looks. This looks better, right? I did want something more full page. Okay, so it's finished the coding, supposedly. Um, it told me the nice touches it added. We typically wrap and add to your pages. Okay, so anyways, let's add a new entry. So this is going to be labeled, um, hopefully, features are here. I cannot spell, that's fine. I am a uh, software engineer, I don't need to. So content is, I don't know. I am, I well, I'm just neutral right now. So my mood is, was where's this? Just go all, all the way across. Okay, that needs to be, I can't see that. All right, so again, this is YouTube. And I can press enter and it's done. Okay, cool. So this, I like, I like this better so far. However, um, it says that update and delete functionality for entries, where, where are they at? Is it highlighted? I can't see. I don't, I don't see them. I don't see them. Uh, okay. So I'll close that. And then is this, that's the entry list, entry form. Journal app. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to say, hey, make sure you, you know, have updates. Let's see. Make sure, make sure you have the update and delete working and add functionality. Also, when you're done, please give me exact details on how to run this locally and what I need to install. Okay, so hopefully this time we get the update and delete working. This is that was my literal mat last message that I have for the day. Um, if this doesn't work, I'll have to create another email. But I believe in it. And I think either way, we can the other thing is, you know, once this is in cursor, cursor can do this too, right? This is just easier to test and see whenever you had the preview like this. And this is what is really good about vzier.dev is having this preview here. Uh, so we're going to wait till this is done coding. And then I assume that when we create an entry that it's going to, when it lists it, there should be like a pencil, a trash can, or some sort of like icons there for me to click on and then hopefully edit delete. But we can, again, again, we can do that in cursor. So whenever this is done with the coding, actually, can we just go ahead and start the new entry? Okay, yeah, so we start the new entry. It's done with the coding. It's now explaining um, everything we need here. So this is, please work now, please. I am currently sad about that. At least I can see the energy level now. Work, um, I don't know. Okay, it worked. All right, so we can edit. Uh, let's like, well, yeah, I didn't, I said that maybe too soon. Uh, update entry. Cool. And I can also delete. Okay. Perfect. All right. We have a functioning journal app. Now that's the, that's step one. And now step two is we need to give this to cursor. So if you haven't used cursor, please start using it. It's just VS code with AI on top of it. So, uh, and you can have all, you know, you have the same extensions. You can import them from VS code. So please start using it. Uh, so to set up, this is a next.js project. Okay. So it's giving us everything we need. I will, this is incorrect. I already know that, but I will explain that to you so that you don't make the same mistakes that I made. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go to cursor and I already have a folder open. So you'll just want to, you know, come to the file, add a folder to a new workspace. Uh, but what I need to do is you can right click over here in the project pane. And you can do open an integrated terminal so that now you have a terminal at that location. So now I'm going to start installing everything. This is creating the, uh, the next JS app. I'm just going to enter on everything. 
I don't know what exactly what it's doing, but I also don't care. Then we're going to CD into journal app. I'm just going to, I mean, it has everything here for me, right? So I'm just going to do whatever it says. Um, I think the only thing is I have to create some more file or I have to add the files to the app directory. That's the only thing with only with having more components. That's okay though. Um, clear this. Let me see the journal app. The next step is to add the dependencies. So let's install all of those. And then what we'll do install shade, shade CN slash UI. So I'm going to copy this. If it's shad CN, sorry, I don't know how to uh, pronounce that correctly. Um, but the problem, this is going to air out. It should air out. Yeah, it does. The reason is because this, it doesn't have the updated version. The updated version doesn't have the dash UI. Okay, so uh, now it worked. And I'm just going to do default and neutral. Because to be honest with you, I don't know what the other ones really look like. I tried something different and then everything was transparent. So uh, I didn't like that. Uh, okay, so we just did. Okay, we just did step four. Um, and then I'm going to need a copy. We need to create all of those. So paste that in there. And again, we don't need the dash UI. Replace the contents of app slash page dot tsx. So if we open this up, app slash page dot tsx. Okay, we got that. And create the following files in the app directory. Okay, so it's saying I need to create. I need to create these. I need to create all of these, and then um, I need to add all of the code to them. So let me just create all these first. I mean, this is this is all being done live. So however long this takes is how long it takes. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long. Hoping that this is gonna be under uh, 15 minutes. We'll see. I actually don't know how long this is yet. Uh, then on the app, I'm gonna add that. Add the types, and let's go up here. And we need to take all of these. So this is the journal entry list. So whoops, copy the code. So our journal entry list paste that in there, and then the journal entry form, come in here, copy it, journal entry form, paste, and then journal app.tsx, uh, journal app, copy, and then journal app, paste. And then we have types, types, types.ts. So let's copy this, and then types.ts, paste that. Okay, so I, I do know kind of what I'm doing. Well, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I, I'm, I've done something like this. I've done things like this before. So if that takes you a little bit longer, that's fine. And now the last thing is once we create all that, this should run. So let's copy this command, clear this, and let's pray that it works. So it's starting and it says it's ready in 2.8 seconds. Let's open this. Um, and then it's not, doesn't mean it worked yet. Oh, so yeah, see, there's an error. Uh, that's okay, because what is it? you're importing a component that needs use state. So what you can do, guess what? Highlight all this. You can add to composer and say, uh, you know what, let's, that was from an old one. Uh, let's do this again. So I'm going to highlight all of this. You can, this, is, this is what I do, literally. You just add to composer and say, please fix. So now it should go into the journal app.tsx, which is where it is. Uh, the chain, this change adds the use client directive. Whatever it's doing to fix it, right? I'm gonna accept all naively. Um, it's compiled this time. It compiled. I got 200. And here we are. Oh, thank goodness that worked. I've been where there's been like little small things that always happen and doesn't quite know how to fix it. But let's test this out before we get too excited. Um, YouTube first. Thank you. Thank you so far. I am going to be much happier and have a higher energy level if this works. And then the location is home. Let's add this entry. And there we go. It actually worked. I don't know why I sound so surprised. Well, I hope you were able to follow along and do something yourself. And hopefully this gives you some ideas on like, you know, how quickly you can make something as well. And yes, you might not run as many errors as I have, or you may run some more. That's okay. It's just repetition. You just ask it to fix itself. Thank you for watching. Here is another video where I use cursor and AI agents with crew AI and V0 
to create a full stack application. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.